Hello, my name is Bradley. Today I'm going to show you how to do a valve lash adjustment on a Caterpillar C7. Alright, so first what I've done is remove the valve cover, move the middle section here, took out all of our injectors. And we've made sure that number one is on top dead center on compression strip. And what that does here, we put number one on top dead center for the compression strip, it puts number six in valve overlap. So basically, valve overlap is when your motor wants to do all of its scavenging. Uh, both your intake and your exhaust are open at the same time, pretty much. Uh, Hence the name valve overlap. So, pretty much everything's gonna do what it wants right in. Alright, so, number one thing you wanna do is you wanna loosen up all your adjustment nuts. Alright, once you got all your adjustment nuts loose, the sequence for this is intake and exhaust. And then intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, and then you stop and you rotate your motor 360 degrees, putting number six at top dead center and number one at valve overlap. And then you're going to start with number six and you're going to go intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust. And you're gonna stop. That is how you do a proper adjustment. The quicker and easier way. Uh, you may look it up and it may tell you there's a different sequence, but that is going to give you the same results and it's going to be proper. So, what I'm gonna do for you here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to adjust 1 through 5 real quick. Uh, so basically, what we have here is we've got 16.016 of an inch of millimeter. How do you want to say it? Uh, 0.16 millimeters uh, for your intake. You've got 0 0.025 for your exhaust. Now, in this engine, the way it's like, the reason it's like that is because you have two intake valves and one exhaust. Alright? So, it demands less clearance for the same amount of air on your intake. Alright? So, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our number 16 here. With our adjusting nut and everything loose, we're going to get up in between. In between our valve, our valve bridge here, and our roller. Alright. We're going to take this 316th that we've got here. We're going to tighten it up a lot tight. But just enough that we can slide that 0 0.016 filler gauge in there and feel just a slight drag. Alright, we're going to hold that right there. Don't move it. We're going to tighten that down. Now we know that's tight. We don't move it off. Alright, now we're going to take our 0.25 here and loosen up. Alright, do the same thing again. Feel just a little bit of drag there. Alright, we got just a little bit of drag. Hold it. Tighten it down. And make sure that we still have a little bit of drag. Alright. Next. Intake. Remember our pattern. Loosen it up a little bit. 
Make sure that we can get our filler gauge in there. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit of drag there. Hold it still. Tighten it down. Make sure you still got a little bit of drag there. Alright. Now we're following our sequence. We're going to go to number 15 here. Or 15, I'm sorry. To our exhaust. Or N025. That one. Alright. Filler gauge. Make sure we got just a little bit of drag there. sequence just like I did back and then when we get to the end you're going to come back and you're going to torque your adjustment nuts here all the way down uh, and then uh, one thing that I forgot to mention on this is that you always want to on the flywheel the C7s there's a bolt on the flywheel. When you get it, number one, top dead center, you can cage the flywheel. When you get number six, top dead center, you can cage the fly, flywheel. And then what that does is it keeps anything from moving. Make sure that you know 100% fact that you're on the money. Alright, and then from there, what you're going to do is you're going to reinstall your injectors. Put your mid-range plate back on. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your valve cover back on. Make sure she's running right. That's all I've got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.